This segment is brought to you by Central National Bank. Put our ag professionals to work for you. So again, we are at the North Farm, uh, Kansas State University main campus. And here we are looking at a field of soybeans. Um, when we are looking for soybeans from now on until harvest, what we are seeing is that soybeans around the state, uh, they already finished all the pot set. I mean, we are almost in that stage. So we can just right now have a very fair number of how many pots we have per plant. So the final stage is on the soybean production from now on until harvest, we will define a very important factor for soybeans, which is the seed size. Um, most of the times, seed size is one of the primary factors that we can see on the soybeans. Uh, seed size can impact soybean yields, and it can impact soybean yields in about almost 50%. So when we are looking and comparing side by side soybeans with corn and sorghum, we always need to remember that soybean is specifically very sensitive at this stage. So when we are looking about how much of the yield we define until today, we can probably say that we have 50% of the yield already defined, and we are looking in the next coming weeks to define the other 50% remaining percent of the yields on soybeans. So everything impacting soybeans from now until harvest will have a huge impact on yields. Is as we were talking about corn and, and sorghum, corn is already in denting stage, sorghum is on coloring stage. At those stages, any stress, uh, talking about heat or drought or hailstorm or any insects or any disease pressure, is in, will be impacting yields, but the yield impact it will be probably very minimum as compared with the soybeans. Um, soybeans they really suffer I mean a lot of I mean impacting yields at these specific stages so right now when you take a look to some of your soybean crops it's probably a good idea just to go ahead and take a look to the number of pots that we have inside of each plants quantify the number of pots make sure that the soybeans look clean in some areas in some situations around the state we are seeing some problems with dectus stem borer and we were seeing some plants that they were affecting by the insects and those insects they tend just to affect um, in some way they burn the leaves and the way to identify is that you will see some of the leaves that they are dry so when you are seeing leaves that they are still attached to the plant but they are quite dry this is one of the things that when you start at least probably will be a symptom that it provides some idea of saying that yeah you have some impact at this moment Another thing with the late season rains that we are having right now until harvest is that we need to put specifically and special attention to any kind of a soybean foliar diseases. So at the moment right now here this soybean looks quite clean. Uh, we are seeing that we are not seeing so much impact on the green leaf area. And that's one of the main points that we need to probably scout. We need to scout for to take a look to see if it has some impact or not on the green leaf area. Here we can see some maybe effect on some disease. It's very minimum, but in general when we are looking to the leaves that incidence is probably very small, less than 5%. So we are looking to high level of incidence of foliar disease and that's one of the things that we are scouting for at this moment. So for everyone from now on until the two, next probably three, four weeks, just go out Take a look to your soybeans and make sure that we can scout for disease, insects, and any kind of issue that will be facing soybean and will be impacting seed weight and will finally really impact in the final yield. American innovation is being driven in places you might not expect by people like Brent Hayek, an Oklahoma family farmer who recently set a world land speed record in a Ford Super Duty pickup truck powered by renewable B20 biodiesel. Advanced performance is here, now, putting America on the fast track to more jobs and energy independence. Biodiesel, America's advanced biofuel.